What's good, everybody? What's good? Good afternoon. Good morning. Good everything, man. It's a great day. I'm feeling real good. You know, it's pig year, but this is another segment of Ray's podcast. We lit, man. The NBA Finals is here. Starts today. I told everybody to wait, to relax. I'm going to give y'all the segment right before the game because you can watch it before the game and you can watch it after the game. And you, If you didn't watch it before the game, you know, tomato, tomato. But the Raptors made it to the NBA Finals all year. I've been telling you guys, Raptors versus the Warriors, GG33. But I've been telling you guys, nobody don't want to listen. Everybody been calling me crazy. I'm like, the Raptors, Kawhi Leonard, he's a great player. And I always brag about Kawhi and I always say he's the type of guy that can take care of the Warriors. Can that happen this series? We'll get along with that. But you know what it is and what it ain't. If you don't like what I got to say, join the debate. Now, let's first start off the, the recap real quick. Down 0-2. You know, the Raptors... Was down 0-2 to the Milwaukee Bucks. Everybody thought the series was over. Everybody was um, on ESPN. They was all telling you that the Raptors don't have a bench, that uh, the Milwaukee Bucks are a better team. They won 60-plus games this year. The only team to win 60-plus wins this year. They have maybe the MVP, Giannis Antetokounmpo. So it was all saying that they are the Raptors are not a good team. But see, when the Raptors started winning and the Fran Van Fleet and Norman Powell start showing up and Serge Ibaka start doing his thing, then the whole script them changed and everybody was saying, oh, the Raptors are a good team. The Raptors wake up. No, man, the Raptors was always a good team. They were. Their excuses were saying, oh, Kyle Lowry can't do it. Oh, Kawhi Leonard, he's hurt. That's excuses. Stop using excuses. Let's just wait and see what's going to happen. They have a new leader this year. Kawhi Leonard is not the main, I mean, not Kawhi Leonard. Kyle Lowry is not the main player. DeMar DeRozan is not Kawhi Leonard. DeMar is a great basketball player, but he's not Kawhi Leonard. So the Raptors ended up winning four games straight, and you know what's up. Now we got the Raptors, Canada, first time in the NBA Finals. Today will be the first time that game one will be out of the United States. Congratulations to history. I mean, I've been alive for a lot of history. If you've been born since 1995, well, since I've been born or anywhere after uh, around that area, you still alive right now. Hope you hope you're here. And if anybody that we lost, I pray for them. You know, we all got loved ones that we miss and we love, but they're not here to see that right now. So we have to carry on the legacy for them, for real, for real. Carry on the legacy, and that's not just to be watching these games. That's just for anything that we do. Carry on the legacy, the loved ones that we lost. Rest in peace to my man Cam. I love him to death. You see him right there. And he'll be happy to hear me talking about this right now. But today is game one. Outside of the United States, you know, the Raptors are the favorites. They are the favorites. Wow. How can the Raptors be favorite against the Warriors? The team that's been here before. Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson. The Raptors never been here before. That's because they are home. And that's why. And that plays a big deal. You know, um, that plays a big deal. I got some uh, stats for y'all to hear right now. I know everybody be laughing when I be coming up with the stats. They're like, yo, Ray, how you know all this stuff? But whatever. But, you know, you do your research, man. That's one thing I need to tell you, anybody that you do. Always do your own research. Don't ever go up by nobody where no matter how persuasive it sounds or anything, always do your own research. Whether if they was telling the truth or not, still do your research. It's a good thing for you to only look it up yourself after somebody said it just to see if they're telling the truth or not. But... You know, game one, the Raptors are favorite. Not a lot of home teams are underdogs in game one. You know, since the NBA and the ABA merged together in 1976 and 1977, no team has been listed as the home team underdog in the NBA Finals. Now, it became close in 1982 and 1985 when the 76ers and the Celtics uh, play game one against the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, that was the only time it was close that is the one spread as you see tonight. Um, the Celtics beat them one time in game one, but then the 76ers wasn't able to beat the Lakers when they were their favorite team, but that doesn't have anything to, you know, it doesn't matter now because that was when the Boston Celtics were going against the Lakers back to back, so you know how to get right, but that's a whole lot of back in the day stuff right there. You gotta learn about your history of anything that you do, but the Raptors are favorite. Can they do it? Now, this series right here, I love this series. Why? Because the Raptors have a great team. They have great veterans. And I'm going to break it down 
on both sides. It's not just going to be a one side talking right now. I'm going to break it down with what each team had. We have a finals MVP, Kawhi Leonard, a man who's been here before. He knows what it takes to win a championship. Same thing with Danny Green, another guy who won a championship before. They both was on the same team with the San Antonio Spurs. So they have veterans right there. But hold on now, that is not the only player that been to the NBA Finals that's on the Toronto Raptors. We have Serge Ibaka, who played with Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, he did not get the job done against Miami Heat, but he knows what it takes to get here. And, you know, he can learn from his lesson, and maybe it can be something different right now so he can get a championship ring. I don't know. We will see. It's going to be a very great series. It's going to be a very long series. But that's not the last person that has been to the NBA Finals. Now, you can talk about this person, this next person, I'm about the same. like, oh, he doesn't count. But really, he does. He does. He does. He played a big part with the Warriors, and this is his fifth consecutive, I mean, fourth consecutive NBA Finals, and that is Patrick McCraw. He has been there. He was a big part for the Warriors. Off the bench as well. Last year against the Cavaliers, getting them bench buckets, two-hand dunks. He was getting buckets. He's a big player. The Warriors wanted to sign him back, but he felt like he was worth more. He tried to test the Warriors. It didn't really work out for him, but it's all right. Now he's back in the NBA Finals, and he's on a successful team. So shout out to him. But that's the only people on the Toronto Raptors that have been here before. Now we got Kyle Lowry. Now we've always been talking about the inconsistent of uh inconsistency of Kyle Lowry, but we see things changing now. We see him playing good. He's getting buckets, being a great leader, being a great point guard. Is this the year that Kyle Lowry steps up? Is this the year? Is this the year? You know, but he's going up against the best point guard in the NBA, Stephen Curry, a man who changed the game. The bright lights is on. See, once the lights start, you know, once it start, that right there, all heart. You can't teach heart. NBA Finals logo flashing around, the National Anthem, anthem, the crowd buzzing, everything, TV, everything. All week has been going on interviews. This is a different type of breed right now, and only killers will kill right now. Only the strong will survive, so Kyle Lowry, show up, man, because you're going up against a man that's a killer. You're going up against a man that knows that he's getting a lot of heat coming up to him because he never won the NBA Finals, and the people around the world don't think the Warriors can win because they think Kevin Durant is the only person that can get the job done as if, like, they did not win a championship without him. So, Kyle Lowry, you got to step up. You have to step up. Another person who had to step up for the Toronto Raptors is Danny Green. Danny Green was not giving it his all last series. He has to show up. He has to show up too. You've been here before now. You have been here. You got to show up. But another person who's on that roster um, is Siakam. Siakam is having a great year, possibly most improved player. You know, going to be debatable with D'Angelo Russell. But he's having a great year. And that's, congrats, and that's good that you're having a great year. But see, this series right here, you have to put it all on the line. All on the line because all you got to do is win four more games. Four more games to get that ring, to get that championship. Siakam cannot go away in no games. He has to be there. He has to play his role. But, you know, I like this next person that I'm about to talk about because um, we all know that he he's a great player. He is a great player. But he just can never get over the hump because he's in the West. And that is Mark Gasol. Mark Gasol is in the NBA Finals. Uh-oh, game one. Can we get a show out for him? He's another guy. He can't go away. He has to play every game. He has to show up every game. It doesn't matter if the Raptors lose. He cannot go away. You cannot be going into no slumps right now because the Warriors are ready to ball. And then you got Fred Van Fleet, another guy who just had a, a baby. He's been balling out since his son was born. And then uh, another person you have is Norman Powell. So... We're going to see. The Raptors have a good team. They do have a good team. I've been saying all y'all feel like they have a great team. But now let's talk about the defending champions. Uh-oh. We have obviously Stephen Curry. You know, he's he want to get that other championship. He want another ring. You know, and then he also want to come at the people who are saying that he never got no finals MVP. And for when they say sometimes that he shy away in the NBA finals. Now, don't get me wrong. Some games he don't show up in the finals. He can go away for a little bit. He can't. But let's not go back to when the first time the Warriors got to the NBA Finals and they played up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Many of you might not remember this, but they were losing to the Cavs in game one and they were losing to the Cavs at halftime. After the first quarter and at halftime, they was losing to the Cavs. 
They ended up coming back and winning that game. Kyrie Irving got hurt in overtime, but they still won game one. But they were losing. So they do not want to go down. And, they, and Curry know what it is, know what it takes. He does not want to go down. He's going to come in and punch the Raptors in the mouth. And he got a lot to prove because, you know, everybody's coming at him. But another person who's having fun. Clay from the Bay, boy. Clay Thompson is having fun since Clay. I mean, since Kevin Durant's been out, been seeing a lot of smiles for him, a lot of smirks from him, all that. So Clay from the Bay, better watch out for him. It's over and under, 21 points for tonight. You do not want Clay to go for 28 tonight. You don't. You don't want him to go for 28. And the man who I think everybody need to watch out for, for real, you know, now he might not win it, but. I think he has a chance. It's Draymond Green. Draymond Green can be a big factor for the war if the Warriors win the championship because he might could get Finals MVP. He's playing all around, all around. Draymond Green is playing great and he's been losing weight as well throughout the playoffs. He is ready. He has hit big threes, big time threes, big time threes. So watch out for Draymond Green right there now. And then another, and then you know we got Iggy back. You know they got Iggy back. The Warriors got Iggy back. He's here, and now Kawhi Leonard. We get to see. See, Iggy is one of the greatest defenders to ever play the game. One of the greatest. I'm not gonna say he's the best. He's one of the greatest top. And he's trying to get into that conversation. He's trying to be the best of all time. Now he does not stop LeBron James, but he can contain LeBron. Now don't get me wrong. LeBron still averaged 35 in the NBA Finals. Don't get me wrong. LeBron still averaged. 34, 33 in the NBA Finals. But it's all about containment. Making the game hard for him. Making him not be comfortable. Iggy goes up against Kawhi Leonard tonight. He has very much rest. So we're going to see. The Claw versus Iggy. And he's talking about them hands when he was running out. Talking about them hands. He said, oh my God, these hands. We're going to see tonight because the Claw got them hands too. We're going to see tonight too. We're going to see. I, I love that matchup. I love that matchup. Iggy on Kawhi Leonard. Oh, man. Oh, man. I love that matchup. I do. And then um, they got Boga back. The last time Boga was on the Warriors is when they lost to the Cavs. When the Warriors, I mean, when the Cavs came back down for 3-1. So, you know, Boga is trying to get another championship ring. He's trying to win. He's trying to get back here. We're going to see what Boga's going to do. You know, it's all about playing your role. It's all about playing your role. And then um, who else that they have on the team? Quinn Cook. Sean, Quinn Cook. Like, before I get to Sean Livingston, Quinn Cook. Won a championship. You can say whatever you want to say about him last year when he missed that big three when they lost. Yeah, I remember. I remember. And everybody was all laughing at him. You know what I'm saying? But he got a championship. He know what it take. He uh, When Curry was out, he was he was holding it down. He's been through the fire. He's been there before, so there's no more jitters for him. There's no more jitters for Quinn Cook. Sean Livingston, another guy. Been here before. They're trying to create a dynasty. They're trying to win these championships over there with the Warriors. So that's why I love it tonight. I love it because we in Toronto with it tonight. The crowd's going to be going crazy in Canada. History. Game one is not in, in the United States. But we're talking about history. And the big thing is DeMarcus Cousins will be the first player under Calipari to play in the NBA Finals. Another history for Calipari. Congratulations. But we're going to see what DeMarcus Cousins can do. There's been things that people saying that DeMarcus Cousins cannot play. They, the Warriors cannot play at his pace. You know, the pick and roll defense, he's terrible at it. We're going to see tonight. We're going to see. Emotions are going to be fair because he's ready. He's hungry. This is why he came to the Warriors. This is why he. This is why he's here. He want to win a ring. So now, of course, you got hurt earlier. You did in the playoffs. And you missed half of the season, but now you hear when them lights is on. He's a great player. He's a great player, and I'm not even worrying about it. He's a great player. I want to see what he's going to do tonight. Mark Gasol versus DeMarcus Cousins. Ooh, I love it. I love it, man. I really do. I love it. I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm excited. This is the NBA Finals, you know, because a lot of people are saying that the Raptors can win. Let's talk about Kawhi. Can Kawhi do it again? Can he do it again? Stop a three-peat. Because you know if he do it, if he stop the 3 P, everybody's going to be saying, oh, how much if he's the king stopper and the 3 P stopper. And, you know, Doc Rivers is another person coming along saying that he's playing like Michael Jordan as well. Mm, we're going to see. We are going to see. But I'm going to give you some stats, though. Some stats about the Warriors, you know. This, this, this is tough. But the thing is, even though about these stats, these are crazy stats. Don't get me wrong. But the Raptors don't care about no stats. <laughs> Sorry for a minute. The Raptors don't care about no stats because the Bucks ain't lose two games in a row. They lost one time. 
The Bucks ain't lose three games in a row this whole time, this whole season. The Bucks ain't lose four games in a row all season. That's another thing. That was karma. They beat the Celtics four games in a row. Come right back to you, boy. You losing four games in a row too. But good job for the uh, for the Milwaukee Bucks. They had a great season though. But here go these stats. Here go these stats. The Warriors are eighteen and one in game ones while Steve Kerr is their coach under Steve Kerr. 18 and 1. That's crazy too. That's crazy stats. That is crazy stats. Um, the only playoff loss in game one that the Warriors lost was in 2016 when they played the Oklahoma City Thunder, which led to them to come back down from 3-1. But we're not even gonna get into that whole conversation. But that's the only time that they lost game one in the playoffs. Crazy. Raptors don't care about that though. Raptors don't care about no stats or nothing like that, though, because we already saw what happened in the Milwaukee Bucks series. That's crazy, though. But, but see, the Bucks are not the Warriors, though. That's why I say it's kind of tough, because the Warriors are champs. They're champions. The, the Bucks finally just got to the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time. First time being in first place. You know, it's been a while. They're going to be a great team down the line. The Dubs, though, the Warriors, they're 34-4 and four while Curry is in the lineup. But without Kevin Durant, this is another crazy step, man. This is just crazy. But without Kevin Durant, they won 31 out of their last 32 games. They're undefeated right now in the playoffs with Kevin Durant not being there. Momentum. We talk about momentum coming for the Raptors because they just won four games in a row. That's momentum, too, for the, the champs. They the champs. You, you got to say that. They the champs. Like, defending two times, like. Trying to get a three-peat. Got to give him that respect right there. Um, you know, since the Warriors, um, jo since Kevin, I mean, that they're undefeated. They had their record since Kevin Durant then joined, you know, 131 of their last 32 without him since he joined the Warriors. Um, and that's just that right there. So what's going to happen? This is not going to be one of my long talks because the game is about to start. And I want I want y'all to be ready. I want y'all to be locked in. Um, quick hitters, quick hitters, you know, the Raptors may, may, may be leading after the first quarter, may, the crowd is going to be crazy, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, that's a quick hitter, say that can happen, but, you know, the Warriors are 18-1 and one in game ones, under Steve Kerr being their coach, they done won 31 out of their last 32, without Kevin Durant since he joined the Warriors, I said Raptors versus Warriors in the NBA Finals. So game one, my prediction. I'm going with the Warriors. I'm going with the Warriors game one. See, I'm really, really, really nervous about this pick. I'm not going to lie. It's game one in Toronto. Um, the first time it's history. You got Kawhi Leonard, who's a guy that can, can cause some problems for the Warriors. And this is a scary pick for me. I'm not going to lie. But you know what I got to do. You know what I got to do. I got to be confident. Hit my Draymond on him. I got to be confident with my pick. And I'm going to stay with my pick. Because if I lose, then I lose. And that's what it is. So, you know, follow my Instagram page, at Ray's Podcast. Follow my Twitter page, at Ray's Podcast. Subscribe to the channel below. If you listen to this whole video, I really appreciate you because now it's time. It's the NBA Finals. And let me know who you think gonna win. Oh yeah, and by the way, what it is and what it ain't. If you don't like what I gotta say, comment below in the section. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Instagram. Join a debate. Copy.